Hey, I'm making, excuse me, I'm making this video to uh, kind of give a rundown of the components, the parts, and uh, the operations of my electric furnace at my house. Uh, we, we use an electric furnace. We have an electric furnace because we are in the Pacific Northwest where electricity is dirt cheap. Um, we, uh, some people in here in the, in the, in the valley use natural gas, but typically you'll find electric heat in this, this area. Um, so we'll walk through the, through the thermostat side of things. We'll walk through downstairs to the basement to see the furnace itself and everything connected there and kind of give a, uh, hopefully an educational rundown of, of, uh, how these, how these systems work. So, uh, so let's get started. We're up here by the thermostat um up here in the hallway uh it says right here we got the temperature inside when you when the when the, it's actually turned off right now but when you turn it on you get the uh the heat setting where you'd like the the room to be at um but like i said I, it's it's off downstairs at the breaker um so it's not going to come on right now um, on the other side we have the um, fan fan is set to auto meaning only the call for heat it will control the fan um, but I can actually just turn the fan on itself there it's set to on like I said it's turned off down at the breaker right now but if uh, if it were uh, flipped on the fan itself would, would blow, uh, turn on and just blow straight air um, not, not cold not hot just just room temperature air through the, through the ducting system which we'll see from underneath in a little while I'm gonna turn that off um, and here's just your buttons to up and down with the temperature. Um, if you take the cover off here, it will reveal the, uh, let's focus up here. There we go. The, uh, the wires connecting and going down to the furnace. Uh, this red wire is our power wire coming in here. Uh, this white wire is for the, uh, W terminal it is the controls the heat side of things um, this blue is connected to the G terminal um, greens not used a whole lot because uh, in this because uh, it's usually used uh, reserved for ground I believe is why they do that uh, but it's set to G which is set at the um, the fan and that's how you can control the fan by itself is is by running that um, so yeah let's go downstairs take a look at the uh, the furnace and see what this uh, bad boy is controlling. All right, down here in the basement, <clears throat> uh, there's the furnace right there with the ducting system coming over which way. Uh, let's go around here and take a look, closer look at this bad boy. Um, here are those wires we saw coming in from from downstairs. Here, there's the blue, white, and the red. And um, let's see, I've already. There's a couple breakers on the outside of the panel here. I've already shut those off so we can get inside and take a look at what's uh, what's on the inside here. Um, I've already removed the uh, couple of screws there holding that this wall, this window, window, geez, this uh, panel up. Let's remove that. And there you have it, the insides. Um, there's a kind of a whole view there of everything. I step back. So we've got power coming in from the house here, the main power coming in. Let's see if I get this light better so we can see that. All right. Uh, we've got the breakers coming in from the lines from the coming into the house. Um, that's 240 coming in there. And uh, so part of this 240 is running through a transformer, which um, Backs everything, backs the voltage down to 24 volts, uh, which is what we run our thermostat off of. The 24 volts uh, we run this relay. We'll get into in a minute uh, off of 24 volts. I don't know if you see that very well, um, and these sequencers as well are running off the 24. Um, the the contacts, however, are running th uh, that are going through are actually the 240 and uh, powering the. Um, heating elements there uh, and also the the fan motor here is also running off the the 240 so this comes down um, it's a 208 240 motor coming running off of the power there. there's a capacitor um, 
And this is what blows all the air through the system, whether it be uh, heated or not. It's going to come through through this fan. Um, there's our uh, air filter. That's probably the part everybody does know um, is the air filter and how important it is to replace those. So on a call for, e uh, for heat, excuse me, um, uh, the thermostat will um, uh, click on and this uh, this relay will close. Will close the the coil will close and the contacts. Sorry, the contacts will close. The relay, the coil will um, be energized. The contacts will close and we'll begin the sequencing process. There's our sequencers here. What these are doing is these are controlling our heating elements. Um, each heating element is like is a coil of wires, um, nichrome wires that are running. Um, back and forth, curled around here and out of this side here, each coil here. So what the sequencer does is exactly what it sounds like. It sets these off in a sequence. So after about 30 seconds, this guy will heat up, this first one here. Um, another 30 seconds to a minute, this second guy will, will heat up and energize and, and so on. Um, the resistance uh, of the, the resistance going through the wires is what actually heats them up. Uh, they've got a lot of resistance, so they're they're holding on to a lot of that, releasing a lot of heat. Um, and so as these heat up and get hot, um, this fan comes on. This fan sh will already be running as this uh, as these these first ones begin to heat up. Uh, reason is you don't want to burn out. You want the wires to burn out and and break. They'll actually get red hot and they will break. So this fan will be running, and um, as the fan's running, it's blowing air over the heating elements um, and, and heating the air and sending the air up through our through our ducting system and to each of the rooms. <coughs> um, let's see here. So yeah, our air comes up. Yeah, actually, here's our return air over yonder coming down from a uh, from one of the grills in the, in grills in the in the floor up, up above us, and the cool air comes down, settles down. Naturally, cool air fall, rot, falls, and so it falls down, comes down this uh, ducting here, then up, but not before passing our air filter. Um, gets all the nasties out of the air before blowing it up through the. Uh, Heating elements, once it passes the heating elements, collects the heat, transfers the heat through our ducting system. Um, these go off to different rooms in the house. Um, there's four of them coming out of here. Each of them has a, if you can see that one, let's see, here we go, a little damper here. You can actually, this is, really, this is a really old house, so this is um, some pretty old work here, but they've got these dampers in there. You can actually feel them cutting off the air there. So. If you wanted to cut off air to one of the rooms, there's you could stop the vents or you could close the vents from upstairs. They don't close off very well. You can come down here and, and shut those off as well and cut off if it's a room you, you say you don't need, then you're not wasting heat, wasting energy making that heat. Um, yeah, I think that's a, a wrap. That's basically how this bad boy works. Um, so I guess the important parts are the, the fan, the blower motor, then you got your uh, trans transformer going down to 24 volts controlling the little um, voltage, the smaller voltage stuff in the, the thermostat, the sequencers, um, and then your sequencers and your heating elements are uh, major components in this. Um, Alright, thanks for watching, hope you learned something.